Good afternoon, good afternoon everyone. <laughs> it is a great honor to be able to speak to you today. It, <coughs> my name is Kazuto Kakutani from the Nagoya Institute of Technology. And today I would like to talk about the development of a monitoring system for the management of medical devices. <coughs> Here is the outline of my presentation. There are the points I will take, I will be taking about today. I would like to start by talking about our medical device management system. I would like to begin with introduction of our study. Hospital use a variety of medical devices to treat patients with a wide range of illness. In recent years, the number of medical devices in hospital has been increasing. For example, in a large hospital with about 1,000 beds, medical staff must manage about, about 10,500 units of medical devices. In, in addition, 50 units 50 unit of these devices need to be inspected each day. These inspections are performed before, during, and after use to ensure safe medical care. In addition, periodic inspections are conducted for preventive maintenance and, and repair against device malfunctions. The problem with medical device management is that it places a heavy burden on medical staff for management and maintenance. Medical devices can go missing during operation for a variety of reasons. It is difficult for medical staff to search for missing medical devices in order to, in order to provide safe and accident-free medical care. It is necessary to ensure that medical devices, which are becoming increased complex, are not overlooked or misplaced. Medical devices that go undetected, uncontrolled by medical staff are reused without inspection and there is a risk of medical accident occurring. However, in recent years, hospitals have been suffering from, the, from a shortage of medical staff due to long hour of hard work and the stress of taking care of lives, and they cannot afford to train new medical staff to inspect medical devices and perform inspection. Therefore, medical accidents have occurred due to insufficient inspection and training. In these situations, hospitals typically manage medical devices through centralized management. This slide describes the management flow in centralized management. Medical devices are managed by using books, barcode, or QR code with the aim efficient managing medical devices. First, medical devices are borrowed from the central control room. Next, the borrowed medical devices are used by patient. <clears throat> Finally, the devices are cleaned, inspected, and returned by medical engineers. However, the management method may result in omission of procedures at the, at the time of the loan. Or that, or that device may be loaned to another patient without being returned. <laughs> Therefore, there is a program of missing and unmanaged medical device. Medical devices may also be returned without being cleaned and inspected. This has resulted in medical accident due to uninspected top devices being used by the next patient. In addition, the recent COVID-19 epidemic has had a variety of negative effects on healthcare. Due to the unstable delivery of medical care and the unprecedented frequency of medical devices usage, COVID-19 has had a significant, significant impact on medical device management. 
and led to a rapid increase in the number of patients requiring medical devices, especially ventilator and a shortage of supply relative of a shortage of supply relative to demand for medical devices. As a result, some patients with minor illness were unable to receive treatment and had to self-medicate without medical devices. In some countries, the lack of these medical resources also led to patient triage. Therefore, the importance of medical device management increased and efficient usage of medical resources and prevention of infection where medical devices were required. Currently, research is being conducted to obtain the location of medical devices and their operating status in order to manage, optimize, optimize the use and flexibility of medic medical resources, such as medical devices. <clears throat> Next, I would like to begin with the related work. In a study on medical device management, Mr. Shamila conducted a study on IoT-based preventive maintenance management. In this study, from the prevent perspective of preventive maintenance, which medical device should be inspected is selected. First, it's the it's determining which inspection should be performed among collective maintenance, preventive maintenance, and predictive maintenance. Next, to detect failures of medical device, the type of data to be collected, the device and its future are selected. The data to be collected can be from the sensors embedded in the medical devices or by installing additional sensors. Finally, a machine learning method is used to determine the method that can most accurately predict the future status of the device. And this method is used to detect failure of medical device. The result of evaluation shows that the SVM method was able to predict whether, whether the device would fail or not with 96% accuracy. Next, I would like to introduce a service called CUP, which is an indoor position method used in hospital. CUP is a real-time location system for indoor location load tracking. A CUP locator, which receives BLE radio wave, is installed on the ceiling, and the BLE tag, which transmits BLE radio wave, is attached to the positioning target. The tag is positioned using the AOA method, which uses the data collected by these device to provide high, highly accurate locating position. As an example of use in the hospital, the system tracks the location of medical staff to calculate the workload of each person and, and distribute the workload among them. Also, to search for medical devices, the system provides positioning of the devices. Next, I would like to introduce a system called Asset Performance Management Provider GE Healthcare as a method for collect collecting the location and operating status of medical devices. APM is used in factories and hospitals to optimize equipment performance. In hospitals, multiple BLE receivers are installed at various locations, and BLE beacons are attached to medical device to locate them. Based on measured position, the system calculates the time the medical device spend at each location and determines their operating status and uptime. APM solutions give you data-driven insight to help optimize utilization, increasing increase availability and reduce operating cost of your healthcare equipment. The problem with these previous studies is that they require system management, which in itself a major burden 
For example, Cooper and APM require battery replacement for the BLE beacons, and data is lost when the batteries run out. They also require a period of time to become familiar with the new system, resulting in lost opportunity. Installation and maintenance costs are also high with many systems costing tens of thousands of dollars in licensing, licensing fee. <laughs> in addition, there are a few studies that acquire both location information and operating status. And accurate medical device management is not possible. Also, there are some studies that acquire both type of data, such as APM. APM estimates the operating status of the of a medical device based on its location, which is not accurate. And there are a few studies that estimate the operating status based on information connected to actual operating status of a medical device. In addition, in systems that can acquire operating data by using functions incorporated by medical device manufacturers, only medical device sold by the manufacturer can be managed using that manufacturer's system. Therefore, as many systems as the number of medical device manufacturers are required, and the cost become high. Also, there are systems that integrate these data. Each medical device manufacturer has its own communication method and data format, making integration difficult. <laughs> In order to reduce the burden of medical staff, in using system, there is a need for a system that integrate and manage the various medical device in their own position. <clears throat> Next, I would like to begin with our proposed system. To reduce the management burden on medical device, such as search time, we can locate the position of medical devices to estimate the operating status of medical device in order to perform preventive maintenance and detect anomalies such as device failures. We propose the system. Uh, we propose a system to monitor the location and operating status of medical devices that meets their requirements. Our system includes a device to collect data on medical devices, a method for locating them, a method for determining their operating status, and a web system for visualizing the information. I would like to introduce our proposed medical device management system. A location monitoring device we have developed in attached to medical device. Our device collects RSSI value, which are the radio wave strings of surrounding Wi-Fi access point and BLA beacons, and use them to estimate the location information of the device. The current sensor built in the device collects the current value of medical devices to estimate their operating status. The collect data is transmitted to LoRa communication to, to a LoRa gateway installed in a hospital using LoRa, uh, a type of LPW communication. The gateway transmits the received data to a database server. The data is then analyzed by web server, and medical staff can use the web page to check and manage information on medical devices. Our localization and operating operation monitoring device is the form of a power strip, as shown in the picture on the right. It has four outlets and use current sensor to measure the current flowing through the medical device connected to the G's outlet. By having multiple outlets, the device can track the status of not only medical devices, but also other devices, such as a heating humidity device that assist a ventilator. Our device is powered by lithium-ion battery and operate on battery power to update location and other information when the device is not plugged in. 
When our device is plugged in electric outlet in a hospital, the lithium ion battery is, is recharged, eliminating the need to replace the device, except in the case of failure. Next, the location. The localization method used in this host system is based on three point positioning method. The three point positioning method is also used for GPS. The device we developed connects both Wi Fi and BLE beacon radio waves. So we first use only Wi Fi radio waves for localization. Because Wi Fi access point are already installed in hospital and they are basically located in the passageway of the hospital. Precise location is difficult to obtain. The RSSI value of the Wi-Fi access point scanned by our devices are convert into weight W using the relationship between RSSI and distance. Using the weight and the location of Wi-Fi AP, the weight centroid localization algorithm proposed by Mr. Wang estimates the location of the node, which is the, which is the temporary location of the medical device. In step two, localization is performed using, a, using the BLE's beacon and the location of the node calculated in step one. The BLE beacon are placed in locations where high accurate positioning is required, such as hospital room. The weight of the node are calculated from the weight of the APs calculated in step one. As in step one, the RSSI value obtained from the BLE beacon are converted into the weight. Using these weights, the, operate, the position of the node and the position of, of the BLE beacon, the weight centroid algorithm is used to accurately locate the medical devices. The proposed system uses this method to locate the medical device. Next, I would like to introduce our method for estimating the operating status. We determine the operating status using RMS value I and the variance value of the medical devices current collected and transmitted by our device. For each value, we determine a threshold value to estimate the operating status of medical devices, such as operating, charging, or not charging, not operating. The operating status of medical device must be defined in advance by the user. Two methods are used to determine a threshold. The first method is to attach a current sensor to a medical device. Charge <coughs> Charge its operating, change its operating status and collect the current value by our device. The first method is to connect these correct data with the actual operating status, analyze them, and determine the threshold value. The second method determines the threshold value using the k-means method on the medical device data collected by our device during about one week of actual production. Next, I would like to introduce a medical device management system to visualize the location and operating status of medical devices. This page displays the location and operating status of medical devices. The current location of the device is displayed on a map of the hospital, and its operating status is indicated by the color of the icon. A field circle indicates the device is in operation and an empty circle indicate that the device is not in operation. Below the map, detailed information is provided, including the management number and the name of the medical device, and the operating rate is displayed in a pie chart. The location and operating status of a medical device are visualized and used for a management purpose. This page displays a graph, graphical log of the operating system of a medical device. 
is displayed a line graph of the daily operating times and a count of numbers of times the devices are used in a day. By viewing this graph, medical staff can select medical devices to use and optimize the inspection period and number of devices to own. Next, I would like to I would like to begin the experiment. Our system is actually being tested by attaching devices to a total of 85 medical devices at three large university hospitals and one medium-sized public hospital. The implementation started on January 25, 2022, and the number of installed devices is still increasing. The number of medical devices implemented is shown this table. And it's mainly target mobile medical device, ME devices, and small medical devices, such as ventilator, ultrasound imaging device. On the other hand, it is a large medical device, computer tomography, CT, and magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, are excluded. We evaluate the accurate of the proposed positioning method. Our proposed method is compared with the Cooper method described in related work. Positioning is performed at 48 points, which has which which are the interaction, intersection of the grid shown in the figure. The grid consists of a cell of 1.3 meters in width and 1.0 meters in height. The BL beacon used in the proposed method a solar powered beacon as indicated by the blue circle in the figure. They are placed at 4.4 meters interval, one near each window in the hospital room. As indicated by the green rectangle in the figure, Wi-Fi APs were installed at 10 meters interval in the passageway of the hospital, using the one already installed. As indicated by the red star in the figure, Cooper locators that receive the Cooper signal are installed in the central setting of each hospital room. Our device and Cooper BLR tags are attached to medical devices to be located. In the experimental result, the average minimum, the average minimum, medium, and the maximum value of the difference between the distance of the actual location and that of the at that of the position by proposed method, or Cooper, were calculated. In addition, we calculate the accuracy rate, which represents the percentage of times when the actual room where the medical device is placed, the room where the device is located are the same. Our proposed method results in, in an average value of about 3 meters and an accuracy rate of 60.4%, 60 which was estimated with an error about one room from the actual location. The location information of medical devices is accurate enough for use in locating them when they go missing or they, uh, they, are, they are to be used. Cooper also provides highly accurate positioning with an average value of 1.2 meters and an accuracy rate of 77.9%. As described in related work, Cooper requires the installation of a receiver called a locator in each hospital, and the installation cost is high. On the other hand, our proposed method has the advantage of being in inexpensive and easy to install because it requires only one BLE beacon in each room. Next, we evaluate the operating stress estimation method. We compare our method with APM, a system that estimates the operating status of a medical device based on their location. The target medical devices were four ultrasound diagnostic image system three of which could not be collected because the batteries in the APM's BLB gun tag had run out. So we evaluate one of them 
The experimental period was 17 days from December 1 to 16, 2022, and the date was collected from each system. During the experimental period, the target medical devices were actually used in medical treatment, and their data was collected. The experiment results were compared by calculating the number of times the medical devices were operated during the, op <coughs> the experiment period and the average operating times used per time. The number of times the device were operated was 39 times for the proposed method and 41 times for APM, with little difference between the two systems. However, the average operating, operating time used per session was 24 minutes for proposed method and 49 minutes for APM, which is more than twice as long for APM compared, compared to the proposed system. From interview with medical staff, we have learned that the time spent using ultrasound diagnostic imaging equipment range from two to 30 minutes which suggests that the, the proposed method is more effective than APM. Therefore, it can be said that our method is more accurate is in determining the operating status than APM. Next, the number of medical devices is evaluating using the operating status of medical devices. We evaluate whether the number of two type of medical devices actually used in hospital is appropriate. We evaluate the number of medical devices by presenting a graph of the gra number of medical devices is in used to the medical staff, which is calculated using our proposed method. We evaluate five units of medical devices A and nine units of medical devices B. The experiment period is from January 18 to March 24, 2022. The results of the experiment are shown in the figure. Medical device A had five units, the maximum number of units used was five. And the average number of units used during the experiment period was 1.8. The medical staff commented that this number of devices were appropriate and that they would be able to determine whether the number should be increased by looking and <clears throat> looking at long-term data in the future. The number of medical device B was nine, while the maximum number of device used was two, and the average number of devices used was 0 0.9. The number of medical device B is excessive, and the medical staff commented that the number of medical devices B should be reduced on the trial basis. Next, I would like to begin with the conclusion. In this study, we developed and implemented the medical device management system. To implement this system, we developed a power strip type device for collecting medical devices data and the visualization website. Because the device is in the form of power strip, it can be attached to various medical devices that supply power and collect data without depending on the manufacturers or medical device. The device operates on battery power and battery beacon is a solar powered beacon. So it does not need to be replaced except in case of failure, thus reducing the burden on the user. Experimental results show that our proposed system is sufficient for use in hospital and that the positioning of medical devices can be used to locate them and the estimating Estimation on the, of their operating status is accurate enough to optimize the number of medical devices and to perform preventive maintenance against malfunctions. So, this slide shows the future work of this study. In this study, the method of determining the threshold value for estimating the operating status requires a lot of human labor and is burdensome. In the future, machine learning method will be used to automatically determine operating status. In addition, by using the location information of medical devices and their operating status, it is possible to optimize the placement of medical devices so that they are installed in frequently used location, thereby reducing the management cost of medical device 
and the burden of medical staff. I would like to summarize the main finding on this, of this study. Thank you for your attention. <clears throat>